welcome back to my channel, Flamingo Homeschool. I'm Angela, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some of our favorite things for language arts. I really appreciate you joining me here on my journey on YouTube, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanted to show you, and it's in a bag because we actually gifted this when we started homeschooling um, by one of our friends, is Zingo. Now, if you aren't familiar with it, it's kind of like Bingo, but it's got pictures and words. So we actually started off with this one and they are double sided where you pick a card like Bingo and then you have this little Zingo machine. So you push it forward and it gives you two tiles. The first person to say the word of whatever tile is the one who gets it and you take your tiles and you fill up your little card. First person to fill their card is the winner. So that's how we played um, that one. And then my kids really enjoyed that so much and it became to where this game was very, very easy for them because it had the picture. So we still play this one, but it's really um, easy for them. And then, got all that noise. So then I purchased Zingo sight words, which does not have the pictures on the little tiles. So um, again, it has a little Zingo machine and the tiles, whoops, sorry, I've got it backwards. Just have the little words on it. And then you have to match those as well. They are double-sided as well. And so it's kind of like bingo with sight words, which we love. Um, my kids in particular, they love competing um, with each other, with me. Um, sometimes we'll have a race to see who can read their sight words fast enough or their, you know, sentence fast enough or whatever. And they love doing that kind of stuff. So that's another way to make it fun. Um, another thing that we use are little, um, let me grab them. Sorry, guys which probably everybody knows about, but um, we use these little magnetic letters and we kind of just put, up, put them up here on the board and make words out of them. So I'll ask them to spell something for me out of them. And my son especially is a kinesthetic learner, so he's very hands-on and tactile with his learning. And so that really, really helps him. And then I found these little, they're little erasers. And so you can just kind of, they're little pencil erasers. So they're kind of squishy and soft, which my son loves. And so he can kind of play with them. And then I'll say, okay, um, make me, you know, four, the number four. And he'll spell it out with that. They even have like little question marks and things in here. So I thought that was great. I found those in the Target dollar spot this year. Um, not that long ago, probably about a month and a half ago. So they may or may not be there still. I'm not sure. And then these, I think we got from the Dollar Tree. I'm not actually, I can't actually remember, but they're just um, little blocks with letters on them. So we use those sometimes to, um, you know, make words out of, and I'll show you. I just have them in a little container here. So we'll get those out and we will... Um, use those to spell words. I try to make them, uh, give them something hands-on, especially with my son, like I said. Um, so they also had those in numbers. I know that's not pertaining to language arts, but they also had those little erasers in numbers and they did have like less than, greater than, multiply, addition, equals so it has all that too i know that's not pertaining to um language arts but i did want to show you those too okay so the next thing i have is kind of a free resource i mean they do have some things you have to pay for on there but um and i'm not affiliated with them in any way shape or form but i just like this and i have used these games with my kids so it is filefolderfun.com and so this is called rain sounds so you look at the picture and there's raindrops with all different kinds of pictures. And then you have to find, like this one is a plus sign. So pull, P-L, would be the beginning sound. So you have sh, blah, and uh, ch, 
sorry, it's hard to read backwards in there. Um, so that's really fun uh, for beginning sounds. And then we also play this a lot, which is Sweet Sight Words. It is kind of like bingo once again. Sorry for the Velcro sound. I uh, This is kind of a makeshift, uh, my own making kind of <laughs> uh, game folder to hold it all. But what it is, is you pick a gumball machine and there's, I think there's like five or six of them. So you pick one and then you we place all the gumballs um, face down on the table, whereas you're supposed to like put them in a uh, not see-through jar, but we just put them upside down and then we take turns picking them. So let's say you pick one and it's Will. And so you have to look and say, you have to match it, but you also have to say the word, so Will and then you put it on your um, sheet and you have to get all of them and then your candy, um, your little candy that goes on your thing to win. So um, we play that quite often and there's a ton of sight words in here, which is great. And that has really helped my daughter um, excel at reading for sure. So she really finds it fun to play those games. Sorry about all the noise. So filefolderfun.com, that's where I got those two. And there's a bunch. I think they have like everything from pre-K all the way up to, I think, third grade. Um, and, and so they have some that are free and some that you have to pay for. So the next thing I want to show you, and I'm sure everybody has probably seen these, but we absolutely love these. Um, and I need to get some, uh, some more of these that are like a little higher level because they're getting too easy for my kids now. Um, so we have uh, Pop for Sight Words and Pop for Sight Words 2. And so what these are is they are little popcorn kernels and they have a little um, word on them. So what happens is you take turns and you pick one out and then you have to say the word fall. So the word that's on there, fall. And if you say it and you get it correctly, then you get to keep it. If not, you have to put it back in. And now you can also, if I can find one, I probably should have prepared, but you can also find a pop card, which doesn't have a, a word on it. It um, has the little pop thing. And when you find that, you have to put all of your popcorn kernels back in and you have none. So the object of the game is being the person who has the most popcorn kernels um, out of everyone at the end of the game. So those are really fun. And let's see. So the next thing I'm going to show you is magnetiles. Now, you're probably thinking this woman is nuts. What is she talking about magnetiles? So like I said, I'm going to show you. My son is a very kinesthetic learner. So we take dry erase markers and we will um, write words on them, write letters on them, and then have him, you know, I'll have him write them on the actual magnetiles. And then what we'll do is we will, let's see if you can, you can see that. We'll have him just put him up here on the whiteboard and spell a word. And so he'll go erasing them and he might need just three for the next word and so um, and so on and so forth but it just makes it more fun than whoops <laughs> than just um you know writing words and things like that so we do use those all right the next two games i actually found um these through jessica from the wall duck way um i love her videos and if you haven't checked out her channel she's amazing um, definitely helped me with my homeschool a lot in the beginning, um, just figuring out what our homeschool was going to look like and things like that. So I can't say enough good things about her, um, but they are super genius reading and super genius reading too. And what they are is they're, um, it's a card game and so some of the cards have, it's kind of like spot it 
if you've ever played that game, but for sight words or for, you know, different words. So you get two cards, you flip over two cards, and then the first person to figure out what things are matching on, on both uh, cards. So this one would be boat because there's a boat there and there's a boat, there's boat there. So they have to figure out what, what is matching on each card. And so they have been really, really great for my kids um, just to quickly know those, those words. Um, so this one would be what girl. So there's a girl there and there's a girl there. So it's really, really fun. Um, my kids and I play it together. I flip the cards for them and then they compete and they love competing. So it works out great for us. So we definitely use those and love those. And these are things that my kids really, they just ask to play because they love them so much. So this one's a little bit easier. Oh no, this one's a little bit harder, sorry. So let me see if I can get them here. Okay, so this one, it's really hard to read them backwards, sorry, hold on. So this one would be children. So you have children right there and then children right there. So they're learning bigger words with the second one. I believe they have, I wanna say, I think they only have two for this, uh, for the reading ones. And then they have some math games as well like that, um, which I will show you in my next uh, video maybe <laughs> if I get to that one. All right, so the next thing, I, I believe I got this from Teachers Pay Teachers and I can't remember exactly, but I'll try to figure it out before I post this. So hopefully you'll have a link to this, but um, it's kind of like a game. I think you can buy a game similar to this. It's a bunch of little bugs and they have um, just sight words on them. Sorry, here, let me take some out. Uh, be professional, Angela, come on. <laughs> okay, so they are little bugs and I've laminated them just so that the last and they have um, little sight words on them. And so what I do is I put them all face up on the table so you can see all the words. And then it comes with all these cards, which are the words. And I laminated those as well. And so I will pull a card and say, and, and then I'll hold it up and they have to tell me the word and they have to um, well, they tell me the word first and then they take their little, these are not really um, fly swatters, but they're spatulas because that's what we could find at Dollar Tree. Um, so they take their little spatula and they hit the bug and whoever hits the bug first is the one who gets it and whoever has the most bugs at the end is the winner. So, but they have to tell me the word. That's the part that you have to make sure you do because um, sometimes they can just match it but not know what it says, when, especially when they're first starting. So we've been playing these for like a year and a half, two years almost. Um, so I love those. And then the last couple things I'm going to show you um, here. I got, let me see if I can. Okay. So I have, let me show you all of them really quick. So I have all of these and they are the right brain sight words. And so they are card decks and I'll show you what they look like. So, so it's gonna have a card and it's gonna have a picture and it's gonna say big. And then on the back it says that that's a big purple elephant. And so you would read this every time you show the card. And so because it has that illustration, especially for my son who has sensory processing disorder, he, um, this has helped him. I cannot tell you how much this has helped him. And we haven't been using them for a long, long time. Um, but I have noticed a huge difference in just using them for a short while so far. And so we're going to continue to be using these and they have, um, all the way from the, you know, pre-primer, all the way up to, I think it is, yeah, third grade. So they continually get harder. So like this. 
seven, the seven dwarfs. So you have um, just the little pictures that help you to, um, to see the word. When, you're, when you see the word, you see the word. So not, and it says, do not cut your own hair. It is not a good idea. And so you, you kind of have to, um, you know, get a little more uh, animated with the actual word. Um, and then those are pretty pricey. And um, so I wanted to show you an alternative, which is these ones. I found these on Amazon um, and they are spring flower, 220 site word flashcards. And so these, and they come broken down into um, decks here. Let me see if I can get one out for you. And so these ones we also have used, and I like using both because I don't want him to get comfortable like just knowing, you know, what's coming next on the deck. Um, so it has little pictures, and then on the back it says um, what you're supposed to say and a motion that you're supposed to do. Point quickly from child to self and others if present. So what I would do is we we are all together now so you can kind of see that and these work really really well as well and these ones have a little bit um prettier of pictures so these ones they have the pre-primer i think all the way to let's see, yeah, i think second grade nope third grade they have all the way to third grade at what they should know so um so those are excellent as well and you can even try to play games with those like I, my kids really enjoy these because they um they try to remember the sentences too um especially my daughter she really likes to remember everything she's my little parrot and she um she wants to be able to completely know all of it so she will try to just be a little parrot and remember exactly what to say for each card. So I hope that you guys found that useful. If you did, if you're enjoying my videos, please, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can see all the new videos. I am going to try to post at least two to three times a week and hopefully you guys will love the content and it will really help you and bless you in your homeschool. Remember, you are fully equipped to teach your children everything they need to know. You are their parents and God has given them to you to be their parents and so he knows um, he's given you everything that you need. So I hope this blesses you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye.